Number 11. Why is it incorrect to speak of a molecule of solid NaCl? Okay, great question. So basically they're asking, why can't we say that a molecule is NaCl or why isn't NaCl a molecule? That comes from what a molecule is, right? A molecule of something can only be stated it's a molecule if it has covalent bonds. And if it has covalent bonds, that means that the, the entire compound has to be a covalent molecule. Or I won't say molecule because they're putting in here. So it just needs to be a covalent compound. All right, well, what constitutes a covalent compound? Two things. Remember, we went over this, right? Covalent compounds are basically when you see all nonmetals come together. You can't have a single metal in your covalent compound. There's an exception to the rule. If you put two polyatomics together, that's an ionic um, compound. It's not covalent. But anything else, all nonmetals would be classified as covalent. So examples would be H2O. Hydrogen and oxygen are both nonmetals on the periodic table. Ammonia, which is NH3, that's a covalent compound, so we can classify that as a molecule because it's all nonmetals. However, if you look at NaCl, which is table salt, it's just a fancy way of saying table salt, the salt that we use for everything. I love salt. <laughs> um, we see that we have sodium and we have chlorine. Sodium, if you guys look on the periodic table, sodium will be a metal. It will always be a metal. And chlorine is the nonmetal. So what happens when you put a metal and a nonmetal together? Table salt, a.k.a. sodium chloride, a.k.a. NaCl, is a ionic compound. So it is not a covalent compound. Only covalent compounds can be stated as molecules. So that's basically one explanation. Because NaCl is ionic and it's not covalent, it can't be classified as a molecule. Only covalent compounds can be classified as a molecule. Now, to go a little bit more in depth for anyone who's interested, over on this side, this is actually what it looks like for table salt. So this is NaCl. Now, all ionic compounds are not molecules. They don't have a single ionic bond, per se. So that means that when Na combines with Cl, it's not necessarily one sodium for one chlorine. This bond between them technically doesn't exist. Because look here, this whole thing is sodium chloride. And if you've noticed, there's tons of sodiums and tons of chlorines, right? So here's the sodium ion, here's the chlorine ion. The only thing is that it just has to be in the same ratio. There has to be one sodium for every one chlorine. So if you have 10 sodiums and 10 chlorines, that's still technically table salt. That's why we can always reduce ionic compounds because these are crystalline, they call it crystalline lattices, or you could say crystal lattices, all right? So there's tons of these ions that will break down into the most simplified form of just saying one sodium per one chlorine in this example. So as you can see, the chlorines, the negatively charged ion, attracts the positively charged ion. So that's why it will only want to be surrounded with the sodiums. This purple one is a sodium here, this purple one is a sodium here, and then this one is a purple one as well, that's sodium here. And the same thing goes for sodium. If we look at a sodium, so I'll look at this one over here, it's bound to only chlorines. One right here, one in the back, one to the side, and then one going down. That's what a crystalline lattice is. They're basically all, uh, they basically like equally all of the other charged ions. So that's also more in depth. If we looked at a covalent compound, such as, you know, ammonia, which we said before, we stated that NH3 was ammonia, and we will get into later how we actually draw this, but just trust me on this one, ammonia 
looks like this, there is only one nitrogen in the molecule ammonia. There's only three hydrogens in the molecule ammonia. I can never jack this number up. So I can never say that this is N2, uh, N2H6. two eight six. That would be a completely different compound. But you can do that with the ionic compounds because it's not one per one per se, but the ratio of one to one exists. But you could have 10 sodiums, 10 chlorines. You could have 11 sodiums, 11 chlorines. It's all basically the same compound, all right? So that's why it's incorrect to say that NaCl is a molecule because molecules are only used for covalent compounds. So this is covalent. It's a molecule. This is a ionic compound. So that's the crystal lattice. So that's the difference. All right. So hopefully this, this makes sense. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, this one's pretty much a theoretical question. A lot of teachers will use the word molecule interchangeably, but for this textbook and for all the answers that I will give, I will only be saying molecule for covalent compounds. All right? So thanks so much, guys. See you on the next question. And if you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. See you later.